Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word. Hey, thanks for joining us as we are going through the book of Galatians right now. And we're going to be, these next three episodes, we're going to be going through chapter 2. I like chapter 2. It shows um, kind of the inner workings of how the church should be working. So the first episode, we're going to be, I'm going to be talking about submission of my message, okay? Um, and you're going to see how Paul... He was submitting what he had been, um, what he was teaching, um, and you know, saying, "Hey, is it this okay? What I'm teaching, you know, doing that." And then um, he's in a discussion at, with the leaders of the church, and they they uh, realize uh, or they come to a decision that Paul is called to reach these people, and Peter's called to reach other people. So each one of us is called to reach different people. Okay. Uh, we all all have our, our different giftings. And then the third thing um, in this chapter is confronting hypocrisy. And sometimes in the church, you're going to have to confront people. And it talks about Paul doing that in this uh, passage here. So today, we're going to spend uh, a today looking at Galatians chapter 2, verses 1 through 10. So if you have your Bibles like I do here, uh, you can follow along and read with me. It says this, and then after 14 years, I went up again to Jerusalem. This time with Barnabas, I took Titus along also. I went in response to the revelation and, and meeting privately with those esteemed as leaders. I presented to them the gospel that I preach among the Gentiles. I wanted to be sure I was not running and had not been running my race in vain. Okay, so... He's going there uh, to Jerusalem to, to the leaders, and he's just bringing his message and say, saying, this is what I've been preaching, you know, is does this sound uh, legitimate to you? Okay, so that's what, what he was doing here. Um, there's going to be other things that happen here, but uh, I wanted to point that out for today. That's why he was coming, was to um, submit his message and be under submission to the other leaders of the church. Verse 3, yet not even Titus, who was with me, was compelled to be circumcised, even though he was a Greek. This matter arose because some false believers had infiltrated our ranks to spy on the freedom we have in Christ and to make us slaves. We did not give in to them for a moment so that the truth of the gospel might be preserved for you. Okay, so naturally they're in Jerusalem, so there's a big pressure uh, to be circumcised, but Ty Titus is there, and he's like, oh, I don't feel the need to be circumcised. That's not part of my salvation, and which is is true. Okay. Uh, let me finish off here, verses six through ten. As for those who were held in high esteem, whatever they were makes no difference to me. God does not show favoritism. They added nothing to my message. Okay. Let me. Uh, on the contrary. They recognized that I had been entrusted with uh, with the task of preaching the gospel to the uncircumcised, just as Peter, who was at work, who, Peter, who had been preaching to the circumcised. So he submitted the message to um, the apostles there, and they were like, yeah, and they didn't add anything to it or take it away. They were like, it's good what you're preaching, okay? Um, verse 8. For God, who is at work in Peter, is at, is the apostle to the circumcised, was also at work in me to the apostle to the Gentiles. James, Cephas, and John, those esteemed as pillars, gave me and Barnabas the right hand of fellowship when they recognized the grace given to me. They agreed that we should go to the Gentiles and that they to the circumcised. All they asked was that we should continue to remember the poor, the very thing I have been eager to do all along. So today I just want to point out, Paul went to Jerusalem uh, to submit his message. And when he did, he was like, hey, is this uh, what I should be? Uh, is Am I on the right track here? And you'll find out as, as you read through this that they go, yeah. And, and they didn't add anything to it or take anything away. And they gave their blessing for him to continue going out and reaching um, the Gentiles. Okay. So that's, that's what I wanted to point out today. We also need to be submissive um, in our message. I need to be submissive in, in my message if, if I'm uh, in 
need of correction, then that needs to be brought to, uh, to me, and I need to be submissive to that. Okay, that's all part of working the workings of the church. We need to be submissive uh, to each other and to our message and not be a, a renegade out just doing our own thing. All right, thanks for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue our journey through the book of Galatians. Lord's blessing. I'll see you then.